Well, hello and welcome to everybody who's tuning in from around the world. I'm sure that you can sense a very different feeling in atmosphere and ambience around the ground, certainly by comparison with what we've seen before in this year's competition. Gone now are second chances, points and tables, that sort of thing confined to the group stage. From this point on, nothing other than a win suffices. The move here is expectant and nervous. No question that this is one of the great capital venues of the Netherlands, the Johan Cruyff Arena, Amsterdam. Well, there's a perceptible change in mindset here, both in terms of crowd and players. You know, Peter, it's the suddenness that I love when you get to this phase of the competition. The suddenness in which you can find yourself in a good position or the suddenness in which you can, it can go against you. That introduces drama, which creates great excitement, and ultimately, you get a much more entertaining show. The action has already started. Cristiano Ronaldo. Played out to the right. Now the counter. Balls out on the left, now. That intervention was very necessary. Keeper sends it forward. And here's Andre Silva. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Out to the left it goes. That's the throw. Intercepts the throw. That's well read. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Gets away from his opponents. The defence can get it clear. He's got options out wide. Has a pop! Goal! The Czech Republic! And it's the Czech Republic who take the lead. Well, that always looked the likely outcome. That's just a great finish, but it's down to very clever movement. You can see this has been obviously worked on on the training ground he knew exactly where he wanted the ball and it all came good the Czech Republic have made their breakthrough so can they build on it I think they've gone about their business with the opener very much in mind and this all goes well now now a chance to break oh that is lovely footwork tries to pick out a teammate Cleared without complication. It's going to be another throw. He's had a shot! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Well, I suppose it wasn't the worst attempt if you consider how far out he was. Hoists it forward. Mario Rui. And it's Bernardo Silva. Out of 
play for a throw. Ricardo Pereira. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Bruno Fernandes, Cristiano Ronaldo, Mario Rui is charging up on the overlap. And it's played forward, and now the breakaway. Decent looking ball. Now it's Husbauer. Mario Rui. Mario Rui drives it forward. Pepe, just five minutes left until the break. Brings it forward. Done very well to intervene. It could be in here. Just it's sick. It's off target and by quite a way. The Czech Republic just served up a reminder of how good they can be on the break. Their method is clear. Ruben Diaz goes looking. Ricardo Pereira. Forward it goes. Ronaldo plays it out to the flank. A chance to play it in. Well, when the options aren't quite present in the box, it's the crosser's interest to uh, to hold on for the support. And there is the half-time whistle. And here we are. Off they go for half-time. The Brentford did indeed come in the first half. And there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. See your views on the first half. Peter, this is far from a lost cause. Yes, they've been hit once by a, a pacey opposition, but they've... And that's clear-cut. It's a free kick. Ricardo Pereira. Brought forward. What does he try from here? He gets past his man. Well, that looks a foul. The referee's given it. The Czech Republic with a set-piece chance. The Czech Republic with a chance here to increase their lead. That was travelling. Ruben Diaz plays it forward. Over to the left. Bruno Fernandes. Mario Rui has come steaming up from the back for this. Plenty waiting in the middle. Another chance from a corner. Bruno Fernandes with the short one. Husbar tries to get it forward quickly. Could move up a gear here. Oh, let's put a stop to that. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo! He's pulled off a fine save. Cristiano Ronaldo sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Strong punch. Barida. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? It's Andre Silva! He's done very well to get to that. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. They've got it back as soon as he goes again. He's got away with one there. <laughs> Portugal get it back again. 
Andre Silva desperately wants to get on the end of this. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. It'll be a throw-in. Now can shoot! Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. He spotted the run and played him through. And he's on it, tries a shot! Oh, that's a fine save! Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Towering header! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. Repelled by the keeper. And the shot! Away from immediate danger. Oh, it's a fine challenge and it goes his way. And he heaves it forward. Ricardo Pereira. And it's Bernardo Silva. Almost 75 minutes on the clock now. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. Schick! There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Should have equalised. Oh, that'll be a major disappointment for him. That should have got his team back in the game. Uh, poorly directed kick from the keeper. He's given it away. Oh, real danger here. Joe Moutinho. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. No, no way through there. Not either. Schick. He's in. Shot at goal. Oh, and that should have been two. Well, he's definitely kept the side in the game then. That's really good positioning. They could have doubled their lead there. Now it's Husbauer. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. What a throw in. And there's going to be another change here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final and whistle. it's got through. Oh, that is asking for trouble. He's going after it. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And the whistler's gone for a reckless challenge there. 
Do you think he's feeling the effects of that tackle? Four added minutes on the board. Minutes away from what would be a huge upset. Rui Patricio sends that a long way. Cuts it out. And that's it. So that's the first round done. And on we go. Your reflections then, Jim. Well, the result matters more than the performance. This team can grind and keep grinding. can sense a very different feeling in atmosphere and ambience around the ground, certainly by comparison with what we've seen before in this year's competition. Gone now are second chances, points and tables, that sort of thing confined to the group stage. From this point on, nothing other than a win suffices. The mood here is expectant and nervous. Wonderful scenes here in the Dutch capital inside this terrific arena. One that does more than justice to the stature of the man whose name it bears. Well, this is a noisier occasion all round. Everybody, Jim, knows what's at stake here. Well, Peter, knockout competitions require knockout mindsets. There has to be a more dynamic edge to the whole approach, whether from going ahead or replying to going behind. This is when the adventure kicks in, and you have to be mentally prepared for a more intense... And the finish! Good stop, that wasn't easy. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. And it's Grzycki. And here's the chance to counter. He's got options out wide. A real chance to break. And helps available out wide. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Plays it out to the wing. Krasitsky. So it is still nil-nil. He gets past his man. That looks a good ball. Massive leap! And oh, he's got that completely wrong. Question, that's a foul. Well, it really is one cross after another. Well, with a target to hit, why not keep up the supply? It's simple and efficient. Towering header!
lovely header, but really it was all about the delivery. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Poland take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, registering that crucial first goal has now given them more incentive and, and motivation to take this on. Just brushed off the ball there. He's looked long this time. Gets wrestled off the ball. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. It's a good run down the left-hand side. Ball swung in. And it's always going to be the keepers. Place it over to the other flank. Cuts it out. Trying to get there. And it's Shalai. Shalai tries to get it forward quickly. Timely intervention. Zielinski. It has got through to him. It's Lewandowski! Back of the net! And there's the goal they've been looking for. Yeah, the pass was bang on, and he just had to ensure he didn't stray offside. The finish was actually bang on too. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Poland get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. We've reached half time. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? So we're just settling back into this second half. Look, before they might get too carried away with thoughts of getting back into the game, they can't afford to slip up and concede another. The next goal becomes crucial. Shall I? No, it's Shall I? Krasitsky. Forward it goes. Krakowiak. Zielinski. And here's Lewandowski. Over to the left. Krasitsky. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw, some real no-nonsense defending. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. That will annoy the manager, they're making themselves too predictable here. Could move up a gear here. Brzezicki is on to it and can take it up. Great leap! Just off target. 
That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. And a poorly directed kick from the keeper. He's given it away. It's a loose ball. there to make a great save well you can't ask for much more than that a difficult moment he simply had to deal with great strength too strong for his opponent Bednarek Krasitsky Zielinski gets into some space Shalai displaying his defensive capabilities there. That's no striker's tackle. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Krikoviak. Krikoviak drives it forward. That's a good ball. Lewandowski! Lewandowski really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. And once more they can't get through. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. And he is going into that little black book. Zielinski tries a shot! Keeper's not concerned by that. Lovely control. He made it stick with an excellent touch. Gets it back. He's had a shot! It's off target and by quite a way. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot, and it wasn't the worst decision he could have made. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Battles to win it back. Foot in. Well, they're looking at the referee, but he's waved play on. Now it's Lewandowski, he's got away, out to the left it goes. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Looking to break out here. Just brushed off the ball there. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Oh, he's taken out, that'll be a foul. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Well, what goes through a player's head at times like that is a mystery to me. Krakowiak plays it forward. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Now it's Shalai. It's Shalai! That's a half-decent try. Shall I? Did give it a fair old crack, and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Hoists it forward. Well, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. Time 
added on will be two minutes. Oh, good take in a good area. And it's played forward. Defenders on the back foot. That's it. They are out. Hungary out at the first hurdle. Hugely disappointing to fall so soon. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, this will be hard to take, but they've gone down in, in fighting spirit, and that can be a, a slight consolation for them.